plans yet for and this is all this is a hard question because every single day it's like we're getting better we're getting worse but for future events any plans for maybe slowly like opening or slowly doing outdoor theater oh and, yes yeah oh yes uh pending of course uh the availability of the vaccine mm-hmm. and an easing of uh maximum capacity mm-hmm. uh, and that was one of the things that was uh that hurt us so much and basically made us close down was of course uh here in north carolina we had a a very strict lockdown for quite a while um and then when uh things eased off business could only reopen with like 10 people and then 25 people Mm -hmm. and then finally outdoor uh, events were allowed to reopen but with a maximum of 100 we can't make any money on that yeah Uh, so um uh assuming that um uh, we can get uh, the state to agree to a, uh, a more reasonable maximum capacity. Uh, we plan to offer a live in-person season uh, in 2021 mm-hmm. uh, consisting of seven shows back-to-back over a 26-week period uh, opening May the 7th, wow. which will include a world premiere of Grimm's Fairy Tales written by four local women playwrights. Nice. Uh, the North Carolina premiere of The Sword in the Stone, the King Arthur legend, uh, four Shakespeare plays, and for Halloween, Living Dead in Denmark. Think Hamlet with zombies, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll use temperature checks, social oh, distancing yeah. proceeding. Uh, we'll require the audiences to wear the masks. Uh, our actors will undergo temperature checks, and they'll wear masks backstage. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll try to be just as careful as possible. And hopefully, as the the year wears on, more people will be able to get a vaccination and things will ease up. Oh, I hope. <laughs> I hope uh, so. We're all ready. Well, we first started uh, uh, working on this. Uh, uh, COVID tests were not not readily available. So uh, we developed some procedures from the uh, Event Safety Alliance. Uh, uh, we bought some uh, forward thermometers. We tested uh, every actor, every um, tech, uh, that every volunteer that came in, yeah. uh, required them to wear masks. We had gloves for them, uh, required frequent hand washing, mm-hmm. six feet distance, the whole nine yards. So <laughs> much stuff. <clears throat> it is. There's oh. a lot, a lot of things to think about. <laughs> it's going to be hard to like reprogram my brain eventually in time, hopefully when we don't have to wear a mask, you know? What? Yes. Well, you know, one of the things I've, I've noticed, uh, and this has happened continuously throughout this pandemic, is that our audience members, uh, particularly those that live locally, have been calling and emailing me and, and saying, uh, uh, when can you open back up? We miss you all so much. Uh, we, we, we've gone through the entire Netflix library. We need to get out. <laughs> yeah, I, it's crazy because Obviously, we're staying home, protecting ourselves, but then at the same time, there's that mental aspect that's 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 unhealthy. Like it's it's going to start getting bad, like our mental health, because we need those interactions. Like oh, we're absolutely! Craving it. I yeah. was on the um, uh, a Zoom uh, meeting uh, last weekend of the uh, alumni from the Governor's School of North Carolina. We mm-hmm. had about close to 300 there and a couple of them told me he said uh, you know you all are the first people we've actually seen outside oh. our house in eight months oh my gosh <laughs> oh i can't even imagine uh, i for the when you guys do do the events outside eventually have you ever thought about doing them if you still have to do it at capacity also you could also just film the it live and stream it live to like we can absolutely and uh, and that's going to be that'll be a uh, um, uh, a plan uh, as long as we have uh, um capacity requirements um uh yeah so right now we've got um you know max capacity of a thousand uh and right at this point we can put a hundred people in the audience um, we're hoping that um, we can get as much as 30% mm-hmm. uh, by the time we open in May. And, and we'll do really well at 30%. Yeah. And then you just need to find that one person if you wanted to stream it. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I'm not like, I'm younger, but I am just telling you, like, I just don't understand the streaming world. <laughs> it confuses me. It's, I don't know. 
like how you can stream videos live. I don't know why it confuses me, but. Well, one of the things I've um, uh, I've been told by the, the technical experts is that it's much easier and and uh, it, it looks better uh, when you uh, have your own YouTube channel and you can stream it on, on YouTube mm-hmm. live rather than on Facebook live. It says there's still some glitches with that. Good tip. 